If there is one thing about me, I love routines, I love schedules, I love having control of my day. So when I fall off of a routine, and for a very long time at that, it creates a very bad and unhealthy cycle of unproductiveness, continuous junk food eating habits, and overall just a poor mentality and mindset. And once I'm stuck there, girl, best believe I'm there for a minute. Hey Lex, it's time for you to wake up. Get your routine going and follow your schedule for the day. Your future self will thank you and is forever proud of you. Good morning, babes, and welcome back to my channel. For anyone else who has been feeling the same way and just needs a little bit of a push to escape the funk, hopefully this video can help. I'm really sorry I started this off on a bad note, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of vulnerability to let you see and understand where my mental, whether good or bad, has been. Just a real and raw moment with you, you know? To essentially get my life back in order because clocks ticking okay i'm starting my day with setting my intentions for the day and i'm able to do so almost instantly by creating a routine on my alexa app you can make her say anything that resonates with you or i mean you could keep it short and sweet with a very simple good morning to start your day you can have her report the weather in your city you can have her play some of your favorite songs or a playlist or you can even start up a podcast to wake you up literally anything and this just helps to set me in the right state of mind and i'm able to get out of bed quickly without spending so much time on my phone a lot of changes have been happening lately. I mean, fall semester just started. I just turned a year older. Not to mention, I'm living in the most ghetto hood, aka adulthood. Like overall, life has just been taking a few too many shots at me. And my mind and body are just not getting the memo to get it together. I had fallen so deeply in a rut and it was just messing with me, like completely. That'll explain the inconsistent videos, by the way. And it's not as if I can blame anyone else. It's been too much since I had a solid routine, you know, waking up before eight, going to the gym as much as I can, finding the energy to even make breakfast, and just overall maintaining a healthy schedule. Honestly speaking, ever since the start of June, like nothing has been in order so this video is more so to document where i'm at mentally on this current day and just regulate how i want the next couple of months and quarter four especially to go so i can finish the year off strong this video is to inspire and to motivate not only for you but for myself included because obviously i need it right now okay it's really just time to get back on my bully and help whoever i can in the process so i've gotten out of bed i brushed my teeth and i'm prepping up for the gym i'm honestly more of a gym in the morning type of person like it really just wakes my body up and i'd much rather get it out of the way as soon as possible and just be going about my day you feel me i do want to ease into going into the gym slowly with you know aiming for about three days a week and kind of working my way up to five days a week i just feel like when i try to force or even rush consistency with the gym i tend to fall off so much quicker and yeah like that's just not gonna cut it for me okay in the gym i don't sweat very easily while working out or even generate like crazy body heat like that so i like using a little bit of that sweet sweat gel and a waist trainer that isn't too tight because I like my life but this will definitely get the job done and just help me like generate body heat and you know get sweating around that area but I masked up I'm strapped and loaded to conquer the day ahead but most importantly the Stairmaster <laughs> like that baby whoops my butt every single time as in without fail but before leaving for the gym although I'm not a big fan of bananas I heard it's really good right before working out don't quote me on that but i mean it's light enough for the morning time but it'll give me a little bit of energy at the same time for the gym i've personally never tried pre-workouts but honestly if you have let me know down below which ones you like because i'm willing to try honestly speaking so yeah my main goal with getting back consistent with the gym is honestly just being realistic with myself while still applying the necessary pressure i honestly cannot come and kill myself but i still need to put in enough work to truly see changes on my body especially for the physique that i'm aiming for um and honestly to just add vim to my body my music choice is very important when it comes to the gym i'm just seriously not like other people who use anger or pain as fuel for the gym like me when i'm angry i sleep when i'm sad i sleep and i typically listen to like chill music or afro beats but while i'm working out <laughs> while i'm working out i need to be hearing guns and pistols as in 21 savage needs to be telling me he's running running running, 
running for me to keep running you hear me and honestly i know i can't be the only one who feels that way like uh, hip-hop or rap just gets the job done for me in the gym okay and i personally love listening to my friends playlists for a really good workout i don't have any hip-hop playlists so you know but yeah i just like to ease into my workout by getting my heart rate up on the treadmill and yeah with this video honestly i'm not here to create a facade for you or an extremely organized and well put together life trust me or at least for me you don't need to be a green smoothie drinking wake up at 5 a.m making a list for your lists you know you don't always have to have the daily boss babe dynamic you know you don't have to be that type of babe all the time again keep it realistic for your lifestyle but apply the necessary pressure still you feel me like for example for me personally 7 a.m is my ideal time to wake up but as long as i'm up at 7 a.m at least a couple times a week maybe like three four times maybe five times a week i won't feel like rubbish you know like i don't have to push the whole 7 a.m thing every single day but at the same time you know in the same breath i'm building or at least working towards a life where i will be required to have a much stricter routine but for now okay baby steps because baby in this life please buddy no be firewood you get so i'm just gonna take my little baby steps but still apply the necessary pressure okay also don't feel like you need to follow trends of a certain lifestyle the fastest way to kill something special is to compare it to something else and i don't want you comparing yourself to a that girl trend of green tea crepes and pancakes robot like schedules aesthetics of whites and nudes instead babe instead hear me out find what fits and works for your life and just implement what resonates with you the behind the scenes doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing and that's completely okay if you haven't noticed by now this is supposed to be a morning routine video but it's more so me like basically getting on my butt <laughs> So just follow along like like i told you it's a documentation of where i'm at mentally so let me just rant a little bit okay sometimes when i'm too tired or quite frankly lazy for a full body workout or you know when i just want to ease back into workouts and take it easy on myself i tend to settle for my lazy man machine and while i'm on here i just like to zone out of the workout while still keeping my heart rate up and depending on the mood or the type of day sometimes i would just get in my own thoughts i don't know about you guys but with my adrenaline rush while i'm working out i think of some of my most creative ideas especially for youtube but most times on this machine i'd probably just get on tiktok because who doesn't love tiktok or maybe just catch up on youtube videos like this lydia dinga vlog that she just dropped but you can even opt for something like a podcast and listen to things like financing tips motivation learning a new skill and speaking of skills that brings us into the sponsor of the day skillshare so Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people like myself. Like I said, I seriously like planning out my year by the quarter and before this year ends, I wanna pick up on a new skill by quarter four. So thankfully with Skillshare, you get to pick up on new skills, develop existing interests, and you know, just get lost in all the fun that this site has to offer. But whether you're somebody that likes to dabble into different interests or you're a pro, we all have that creative and curious side to us. So discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means you don't get interrupted by ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. When you join Skillshare, you can partake in one of their many real-time live classes hosted by popular teachers for you and other members to enjoy at the same time. You'd get to connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. And obviously with times when you've fallen into a negative or self-sabotaging group, routine like I shared. Skillshare has classes on self-motivation and encouragement to help you get back on track. Because of this, I personally enjoyed Jonathan Vanessa's class called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. He speaks on connecting with your inner self through positive self-talk and meditation. He shows you how to create personalized planners, developing a routine. And I really just love the fact that I was able to view and interact with the reviews from other members on how this class helped them specifically. Also, I wanted to point out they even have classes on editing, which I'll definitely be looking at. You guys always ask me how I edit my videos and like I said there's no better time than now to pick up on a new monetizable skill before the year ends. You can join in on classes like these and many others and because Skillshare loves building a community the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity now. I did a few other workouts and I basically just called it a day but on another note as of lately my eating has gone to shits 
as in <laughs> I even gave you guys a little snippet of that in my extreme transformation video sis ever since then nothing has changed I went to San Francisco ate like I lost my mind went to Houston a few times ate like I lost my mind like I know right now it's not showing on the scale but eventually <laughs> Look, today I just really wanted to focus on filling my refrigerator up with the greens and healthy foods that I used to eat. And I didn't want to embarrass myself by showing y'all how empty my refrigerator was. But girl, <laughs> girl, that baby is empty. As in like empty, empty. So, you know, I just made a quick stop at Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's. And, you know, just pick up some nutritious foods to feed the body and soul, okay? So I did a little bit of shopping and I'm finally able to fill up my fridge with things like salmon, some cottos avocados yogurt greens tomatoes mushrooms chicken you know all of that okay and obviously this isn't something that i'll be doing every day as a morning routine like duh but how was i going to make breakfast in a morning routine video with no groceries <laughs> anyways once I'm out of the shower, even though I'll be at home for the rest of the day, I started making it a habit to be more put together at home. So I just put something a little cute together. And before I move right along to making breakfast because the gym made me hungry, I'm going to quickly do my skincare routine for the morning, starting with my CeraVe Renewing Cleanser to cleanse. I keep my routine very, very simple because when I do the most, it's, it's not a pretty sight, okay? So I keep it very simple by toning with this leave-in toner and moving straight into moisturizing and sunscreen when I remember or when I'm going out especially I will go in with this black girl sunscreen and just rub that all into my skin for a layer of protection. My main goal with my routine is all about making more mindful practices that will have long-term benefits on my life. I'm not doing anything that is too foreign to my typical day-to-day -day life or something that I truly know I'm not going to be keeping up with but I'm also still challenging myself with implementing bits and pieces that embody the woman I am becoming and the lifestyle that I wish to one day have. I'm changing my mindset to welcome the those lifestyle changes and obviously as I get older and as time goes on I'm going to be implementing more things into my routine and as I morph into the woman I'm becoming my lifestyle and my routine and morning routine especially is going to adapt to that but most importantly one of my main goals in my routine is just having patience with myself and not being so hard on myself when I fall off because that just gets me deeper and deeper and deeper into that negative cycle so just keeping a positive mindset and telling myself that it's okay okay to mess up a few times is I feel like a very necessary and healthy step. Once I've eaten, honestly, my day from this point forward is decided on what's on my to-do list. I could either be making a video for you guys or I could be doing some schoolwork. Sometimes I'll just spend some time at school and tackle some schoolwork or even edit or chill. Honestly, if it is a chill day, trust me, I am in bed chilling, okay? But regardless, I'll always have a to-do list set out most likely like the day before and try to knock off as much as I can for the day. And by the next day, we repeat. <laughs> 